Hello, welcome to Mastering Java. Here in this lesson number three, we're going to uh, really learn about a lot of things here. So I'm going to warn you up front that you might have to watch this lesson a couple of times to really understand everything that we're talking about. Nothing in here is hard, but I'm going to introduce a lot of new concepts that kind of need to be discussed in order for you to really understand what I'm talking about. So let's revisit what we've done recently. We've learned how to read a single character from the keyboard using system.in.read. And we were able to use that in many different ways, and it's really great. But the problem with that is it's really only intended to read one byte at a time from the keyboard, which is one character at a time. So um, it's great if you're trying to answer yes or no questions, but what if you're trying to read a number, like a big number, like 347? I mean, you can see the number 347 is, or 345, let's say, is three characters. So I would have to do a system.in.read for the three, and then another system.in.read for the four, and then another one for the five, and then I'd have to put all those things together and form it into an actual number to represent the number 345. So reading single characters from the keyboard to represent numbers um, is not really easy to do. Also, what if you wanted to do 345.25? How do you represent the decimal? I know you can read the period in from the keyboard, but how do you represent it as the number 345.25 when you're reading each character in a at a time from the keyboard? So, um, you know, it's possible to do by reading one character at a time, but it's very cumbersome. So what I want to do is show you how to read integers in from the keyboard. You know, if you want to read the number you know, 1004, you'd be able to do that. And I also want to show you how to read characters from the keyboard or numbers from the keyboard that are doubles, which are decimals. So 65.325. You know, the reason I want to teach you how to read things in from the keyboard early on in this course is because it makes programming much more fun.